Hello fellow mullet. So today, since I'm going back to school pretty soon, I'm going to tell you some fidget recommendations that I would have, like, to take to school. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so first off is a water timer, because, like, this isn't super loud. It's not, like, but you should probably ask your teacher if you can, like, keep it on your desk and, like, like make sure you're not, like, getting distracted. But otherwise, this would be, like, super good. Next is a wacky track, so as long as you're not, like, getting distracted and your wacky track doesn't make, like, a bunch of clacky noises, because, like, mine makes some, but it's not, like, super loud. So, like, as long as it's not, like, too loud and you don't, like, get, like, distracted, I think this would be really good. Um, next up is zipper bracelets, because I just recently got these. So, as long as, like, no one's complaining that they're, like, too loud, these would be, like, really good. Also, so these are the two color combinations I picked for this one. Um, but, like, most of these color combinations that I got are, like, so weird. Like, what even is this one? Like, what? But, anyway, so, these are super good. As long as they're not, like, super loud. They're just, like, bracelets, so, like, no one's even gonna, like, know that it's a fidget. So, these are super good. Next is a DNA ball. Because most fidgets, like, you wouldn't want to bring to school. Because, like, in case it, like, pops or whatever. But this would be super good because there's just, like, the little balls. And you could, like, put it away if it pops. So this would be super good. Next up is pea popper and peanut poppers. Which I know some of you probably haven't heard of this. So it's basically a pea popper except a peanut. The peanut is pink. but So there's this little face and there's this one so the same little dog i honestly kind of like them both the same i might like the pea popper better but i like them both a lot and i would bring both of them to school next up is a tangle because i recently got six of these and they are really nice i like them a lot this is my favorite out of the color combinations that i got but these are like super good for school because like they're just like really quiet you can kind of just like whatever this is um but they're like really quiet and they're not like super like clacky and um they're not like really distracting either, so i think these would be super good and then next up to like classroom classics a monkey needle and a marble mesh these are actually it might either be these or a pop it but these were like the first two fidgets that i heard of because my friends brought these to school when we were doing testing so, first up is a monkey noodle, and as long as you're not, like, whirling it around, it would probably be fine to, like, bring it to school, as long as you're just, like, kind of, like, stretching it, and, like, blah, blah, blah. And then, a marble mesh, because this is great, because it's, like, quiet, and there's, like, a lot of different things that you can do with these, and it's really fun. So, that would be really good. And then, squishies. So, as long as you don't bring, like, a super jumbo one... Like, these would be really good because, like, they're not super distracting and you can just kind of, like, hold them in your hand and do it. So, these would be really good. So, now I'm going to move on to fidgets that I would not recommend. Let me just pile them all over here because there's actually kind of a lot. Don't bring loud fidgets to school, y'all. So, first off are these two stress balls. Now, I don't have a lot of stress balls, but, like, anything that could be, like, gooey or messy if it pops would probably be a no. So this is a dough ball. I don't exactly know what there is inside, but it would probably be kind of messy if it pops because it kind of feels like like clay or something. I don't know. Um, but these do all overall feel really nice. Um, next up is a water stress ball because obviously if this pops, it's gonna get like, so this is probably a no. And then, obviously, a pop tube. Like, you'd just be crazy to bring this to school. Like, that is way too loud. Like, that is, like, super distracting and way too loud. Except for these two, which are also distracting and too loud. So, these are two different types of fidget pads. So, I actually think I like this one better, but I like these both actually the same. And so, these would be are super good for, like, places, but not super good for school they're really loud and pretty distracting so yeah um next up are some dim holes now i don't have a bunch i just have like small ones like single simple triple but um these are kind of loud and 
kind of distracting, so I wouldn't recommend bringing these to school. Next up are some more distracting and loud fidgets. Actually, some of these aren't loud. This one is not loud, but since the goal is kind of like to make like pictures and shapes with it, it wouldn't be like super good for school. Hold on. I'm trying to make it hard. Okay, never mind. I'll do it later. Um, and then these, the, a puzzle ball isn't super loud, but it's obviously very distracting for, like, school or whatever. Like, this would be super annoying if your, like, classmate pulled this out and started using it. So, yeah, not super good, but it's very fun, though. And then, um, these would be also kind of distracting, and, oops, when you, like, that's kind of loud. So these would honestly be a no. Unless you do this. Like, this is probably fine. Hmm, whatever. Um, next are some small fidgets. Because I would not want to lose my fidgets at school. The smallest thing I'll probably bring is, like, a pee popper. Like, a bike chain. Because I wouldn't really want to, like, lose them. But so probably, like, mochis or, like, acupressure rings would probably be, like, a no. So, an infinity cube, if you have, like, one of those, like, black metal ones, that would be, like, super good to bring, because it's not really loud, and it's not super distracting, and you can do it in one hand, yeah. But this, like, if you have, like, ones like this, like, that's pretty loud, like, even if you're just, like, using it and being kind of careful, like, like, that's pretty loud. So... And then last but not least, obviously, a poppet. I actually just got this. Do you like it? I said you traded for it. But this is actually pretty loud on both sides. And most poppets are pretty loud, so I would not recommend bringing this. And also, it is pretty distracting anyway. So I'd probably say that this is a no. So those are the fidgets that I would recommend for school and not recommend or whatever. So thank you for watching. Bye.